Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study one of the AC motor we use in traction duty and that is single phase AC series motor. In the diagram we can see that field winding is connected in series with the armature and that is why it is known as a AC series motor. The supply is single phase AC and characteristic of AC series motor is almost equivalent to the DC series motor and it also possesses some of the features like DC series motor which makes it suitable for traction duty. We know that uh, in case of series motor, the torque produced that is proportional to product of armature current and flux. In case of series motor, flux is proportional to the armature current. So the torque is proportional to the square of the armature current. Here the supply is alternating. And that is why in each half cycle, the direction of flux as well as armature current changes. But both are simultaneously either positive or negative. So the product is always positive. And that is why the torque produced that is always a unidirectional. One additional compensating winding that is also connected in series with the armature. The purpose of compensating winding is to prevent excessive sparking at the brushes and effect of poor power factor. When we supply single phase AC to the AC series motor, Two different types of EMF are induced in the armature conductor. One that is known as a dynamically induced EMF and that is because of rotation of the armature conductor in the magnetic field. And the second type of EMF that is because of a transformer effect of magnetic flux because magnetic flux are alternative and that is why the EMF induced in the armature conductor that is known as a EMF because of transformer effect. To overcome the effect of transformer action, compensating winding is connected in opposite phase. So the flux produced by the compensating winding is in opposite direction to that of the armature current. So both the different fluxes can compensate each other and we can have least sparking at the brush and we have better commutation. We can see the torque speed characteristic of the AC series motor in comparison with the DC series motor. Here we can see that uh, the characteristic of AC series motor is uh, steeper compared to DC series motor. So for any given torque, the change in speed is uh, less compared to DC series motor. Now let us discuss some of the construction features which makes AC series motor best suitable for traction duty. It has a less number of turns on field winding and more number of turns on armature winding. The complete magnetic circuit of the motor has to be built up from insulated seat steel stampings. It has a compensating winding which is helpful to cancel out the magnetic effect of armature current. It has a smaller air gap 
due to weak field. To reduce transformer EMF effect, the motor is operated at a low frequency. Sometimes it is either 25 Hz or 16 Hz. The width of brush is kept small to avoid sparking. The motor is suitable for maximum 400 volt. It requires transformer to operate at a high voltage. The weight of AC series motor is 1.5 to 2 times more than that of DC series motor for a given horsepower rating. Due to steeper speed torque characteristic, load sharing is less affected. Now let us see the application of AC series motor. Due to poor starting torque and poor power factor, AC series motor are not suitable for urban and suburban service. But it is mostly used for mainline service. So this is all about uh, AC series motor. We will discuss different types of AC motors which are used for traction duties in our next lectures. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.